Well, alright, good day guys and to all of our viewers now, magandang 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 araw po sa inyong lahat, alright? So, in today's video, we will be discussing the calculus. This this subject is actually really fun. Um, you can solve a lot of problems through this and, you know, I will be discussing some of the important techniques and how you're going to solve the problems. So, well, before this, I just want to shout out for... Gerald Balaoro for your Cyril Celada and Richard Amahan. Thank you so much guys for your support. I really, really thank you for your support. And also for all of my classmates when I was still in high school, the St. Maria Goretti class. Thank you so much for your support. This is actually requested by Shania Donga, Hercules Cortez, Paul Ginish, and all of you. Thank you so much for your support. And sa lagi nyong panunood dito sa channel ko, right? So, ano pang inaanda natin guys? So, sisimula na natin itong calculus. Before we go further with our computations, we must know first the history or any backgrounds about the calculus. So, a calculus is actually a branch of mathematics which uses a derivative to analyze the way in which the values of a function is varying. So, that is why it's really important because we're gonna using a derivative here in order for us to know the differences of the values of each functions all right so this was actually developed in 17th century and the calculus is now applications in almost in all areas of the human endeavors that is what i'm telling you it can be used on all aspects of human lives like engineering the physics the business, the economics, astronomy, chemistry, biology, psychology, sociology, and, all, and almost everything, all right? So, and Sir Isaac Newton and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, working independently from each other, and developed the calculus in connection with their work. So, using the calculus, the, they apply the calculus in all in their works, and and it's very obvious that Sir Isaac Newton has a different work compared to, God, to Gottfried. So, Newton used the calculus in finding the velocity of a moving body, while Leibniz, on the other hand, is focused on the geometric calculation. So, that is why your geometric problems can actually be solved using the calculus, all right? So, you don't have to make a long process method because the calculus can actually solve your problems. And Leibniz is the one who initiated the modern notation of dx and the integral sign, all right? So, at least now you have a brief background about the calculus. So, that's very important. So, we will tackle a lot of problems, but we will start with the differentiation of the algebraic function. So, some of the topics that we will be discussing next time it will be uh, the logarithm and exponential function the trigonometric function the inverse trigonometric function the hyperbolic function and the inverse hyperbolic function so this time ang topic natin ang ato ang isgutan is about the differentiation of the algebraic function all right so the first thing that you have to learn is you have to familiarize all of this, all right? So that is the um, <clears throat> the rules or you know the formulas in solving uh, the algebraic functions. Although, alam nyo, if you always solve, pag palagi kayong nagsusolve, you can memorize na no? you can memorize all of these formulas like. Parang alam na alam mo na siya pag lagi kayong nagsisolve. So, you just try to solve a lot of problems. I-try nyo yung apply each of this. Alright? So, pero magbibigay po tayo na example dyan. Don't worry. So, first thing is you have to memorize all of this formula. So, hindi ko na po babasahin lahat. Kaya na po yung bahala ko ano. Masta, yan po. Dapat po siyang i-memorize. Ano natin? Uh, we will start with um, the constant rule and the power rule. Alright? So, in constant rule, it states that whenever we try to differentiate a number, a constant number, that is always equals to zero. So, whatever number it is, like it's 1,100 or even if it's negative or positive, whenever you try to differentiate a number or a constant, that is always equal to zero. Always remember that. 
So that's the first rule, the constant rule. So say our example, we have y is equal to 3 and we try to differentiate that. So we will have dy over dx is equal to v differentiating 3 in terms of x, we have 0. It's very easy, all right? So whatever number, that's always equal to 0. So what about the power rule? So the power rule is if we try to differentiate a variable raised to the power of a number, say that number is n, so we just uh, have to multiply that exponent to the constant of the variable and then subtract that by 1. So yan po. Yan nun po, right? Lagi po natin tatandaan. Yan po, napaka-daling tindihin. Yung exponent na meron yung variable natin, we have to subtract that by 1. And then, yung value ng exponent po natin, na hindi pa siya subtracted by 1, will be multiplied to the constant of the x. Alright? So, magbibigay tayo ng example para mas maintindihan nyo, alright? So, our example for this is, Say y is equal to x to the power of 4. So, we have to take note that even there is no number na nakatabi dito sa x, even there is no number beside uh, in the x, that doesn't mean that it has no value, right? It only means that there is a value which is 1 there. So, there is no number given that is always equivalent to 1. So now, if that is 1, I said that the exponent, which is 4, will be multiplied to the constant of the variables. The constant there of the variable is 1. So if I try to multiply the value of 4 to the 1, and then 4 will be subtracted by 1. So what happens is, if we try to differentiate y is equals to x to the 4th, what happens is, dy over dx is equals to differentiating x to the 4th over dx will be equal to 4x cubed, alright? So, because we multiplied 4 to the constant of the variable, which is 1, and then we subtract the exponent by 1. So, our exponent there is 4. So, if we subtract that by 1, that becomes 3, right? So, 4x cubed, that is the differentiation of y is equal to x to the fourth, alright? In terms of x. So, you can use this rule whenever you see there is an exponent there. So, if the function has an exponent, there is a possibility that you can use the power rule. That is why we call it power rule because <clears throat> it is a power or it is based on the exponent, right? <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, um, if, if the exponent is a fraction, you still can use that one. You can multiply that exponent, even if it's a fraction. So, what's the twist here is, ang twist dito, guys, sa mga Tagalog dyan na nanonood, if you encounter a radical sign, so, kasi, usually, if people or students encounter a square root or a cube root or whatever, it is really hard for them. They, they That's the time that parang takot na silang mag-solve. Like, they don't want to solve at all because they already saw this square root and they find it difficult whenever they saw this a sign. So, you can transform the square root into an exponent. So, magiging kung square root lang yun, if that is just a square root, it, that can be one half, alright? So, that can be a one half. And then, you can just multiply apply that to the variable, to the constant of the variable, and then 1 half minus 1. So that is the good thing here. Like, you don't have to be scared of solving problems now that there is a radical sign. So, but I will give you another problem about the power rule. So this problem looks like this. So we have an equation y is equal to 3 multiplied by 4x minus 2 to the power of 2. So if you solve a problems like this, so the first thing that you have to do is you identify the variable. So the variable there is 3. And then here you see, see that the 4x has the variable of x. 
yet the exponent is um, in the parentheses 4x minus 2. So based on the formula, the n that we'll, we will be using or the n in our equation is 2. Okay, so that is our n. So what happened there is the x in our formula, this x in our formula here, becomes the base of our exp uh, of our exponent, all right, of our exponential function there, so which is 4x minus 2. So lahat po ng nasasakupan ng exponent, so lahat po ng nakaraise sa exponent, yun po yung magiging base natin at yun po yung magiging x natin. Alright, so if that is our x, how are we going to solve this? So, simply, if we differentiate that equation, based on the formula, we have to multiply the exponent to its variable, <clears throat> to the variable of the x. So, 2, obviously, 2 times 3, we have to multiply this exponent to our n, uh, I mean to the, to the variable of to the, uh, to the constant of our variable, which is 3, so that is 6. In the end, we subtract the exponent by 1. The next thing that you have to do is you just have to copy the equation inside the parenthesis. Alright, so copying that, we have 4x minus 2. And then, the this value here that we get, we have to multiply it to the differentiation again of the inside of the parentheses. Alright? Again, you just have to copy that. You multiply the exponent to the constant of the variable, and then you copy the equation or the equation inside the parentheses, and then you try to differentiate the equation inside the parentheses, which is this one, which is 4. All right, so why we get 4? Simply that is 4x minus 2. I'm sorry for the writing. I can't write properly using my laptop. So 4x minus 2. So again, we just use here, we just use the power rule again because 4x has an exponent of 1. So if we try to multiply the 1 to the 4, that is 4. And then... Um, 1 will be subtracted by 1. So if I have x, 1 minus 1, that becomes 0. So I have 4 times 1. And why we multiplied it by 1? That is because whatever number, even it's a, if it's a variable, when it is raised by 0, that is always equivalent to 1. So 4 times 1, that is 4. So that is why we have 4 this, there as a differentiation of the function inside the parentheses. All right. So after that, you, you just have to simplify that equation. So we have dy over dx or the differentiation of 3 quantity 4x minus 2 to the power of 2 is just a 24 multiplied by 4x minus 2. So that is how we solve that. I hope you get that, guys, because it's maybe the way you hear or the way you look at it. If you're just a beginner, it's quite complicated, but really, it's you just have to solve a lot of problems and try to follow what I just said. You have to those that are part of the parenthesis, those that are being raised to an exponent will be your x. So my parent my part ka na naka raise just exponent and then my base ka, I mean my constant ka, considering na yun yung constant ng x mo, then my exponent ka. You multiply the exponent to the constant and then you copy the yung yung mismong nasa loob ng parenthesis. And then you get the um, differentiation of the equation inside the parenthesis and you multiply it there. And then you simplify it. And that's the answer, all right? So that is how you solve for the power rule. So if you guys have questions about this, you can just comment below para mabigyan pa natin ng emphasis, all right? Sa, sa susunod natin ng mga tutorials. 
So, next our topic is the sum rule and the sub subtraction rule. I don't think it's a subtraction rule. But ito is yung nakita ko sa book. Eh. But, but I, the way that I remember this, this is difference rule. Alright? The sum rule and the difference rule. Sorry for that. But it's difference rule. So, yung rule naman dito is every term, you have to differentiate that na separately. Alright? So, you have to differentiate each term separately. So, hindi dapat na pag nag 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 uh, nag differentiate ka buo lahat 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 kailangan separated so magbibigay tayo ng example para mas maintindihan niyo say i have this y is equals to 3 the square root of x minus 2 over the square root of x plus 1 over x to the power of 3 plus 8 sinadya ko po itong may mga square root square root na ito kasi alam ko i know that a lot of you are scared to solve problems na may mga involving ng square root so if we try to differentiate that kind of problem, so, iba yung pagkakasolve po natin sa each term. So, iba po yun dito, that is for the differenti differentiating 3 the square root of x, yan po. Minus, differentiating 2 minus, or I mean 2 over the square root of x. And then, yung 1 over x to the power of 3. And then, differentiating the a. Alright? So, yan po. So, dapat, if we try to differentiate, if there is, pag may makita po kayong minus, may makita po kayong plus, na nagse-separate sa, ano, as a term, it's, you have to solve that separately. Alright? Pero iba po yung pinakita ko kanina, kasi nakaparentesis po yun, eh, naging isa po sila. Ito po is wala. Alright? So, solving this, so, kung makikita nyo, what we did is, from 3x, alright, sa mga natatakot dyan sa square root. So, if nakita niyo dito, 3, the square root of x, okay? So, yung 3 natin there is actually our constant. So, makikita niyo dito, naging 3 is constant. And then, x is raised to the power of 1 half. So, yung x is just raised to the power of 1 half kasi nga naka square root siya eh. So, yung square root equivalent niyan as an exponent is 1 half. So, Kung makaka-encounter po kayo ng mga square root, I really suggest that you turn it into an exponent para mas madaling intindihin. Alright? Tapos, okay, you just copy the minus. And then here, you just copy the 2. And then, dito, may, may, yung nasa denominator niya is the square root of x again. So, if it turn mo into uh, exponent yan, so, 2 over x raised to the power of 1 half. Now, if ilalagay mo naman po siya sa numerator, lalagyan mo lang po siya ng negative. So, yun po yung nakaganda doon. So, pang from sa taas, pag ilalagay nyo sa baba, if positive na siya sa taas, ilalagay nyo sa baba, and then negative nyo lang. So, kung gusto nyo i-move from numerator to denominator or vice versa, just have to put negative sa exponent. Alright? So, yun po. Yun po yung mga techniques na dapat nyo malaman. And then, same is true with 1 over x to the power of 3. So, since gusto po natin na mas madali siyang intindihin, so, lalagay natin siya sa taas, gagawin natin siya sa numerator. So, yung 1 over x to the power of 3 magiging x to the negative 3. Alright? And then, differentiating a in terms of x. Alright? So, kung... So, yung first po term po natin, which is 3x to the power of 1 half, yung gagamitin natin dyan is just a power rule. So, kung power rule siya, yung exponent niya is 1 half, so we have to multiply it by 3, and that is 3 over 2. So, yung 1 half naman po, yun po yung n natin. So, as I have said, minus 1 po yun, so negative 1 half. So, which is meron dito, 1 half. So, 3 over 2 and negative 1 half, alright? Minus... So, meron po tayo ditong 2x to the negative 1 half. So, still a power rule. So, you have to multiply the negative 1 half to 2. So, multiplying negative 1 half to 2. So, may po ito ganito dito. And then, negative 1 half minus 1. So, we have negative 3 over 2 as an exponent here. And then, minus, uh, it's not actually a minus because we use positive here. But since 
our exponent there is negative 3, then if we multiply it by 1, which is the constant of that x there, so magkakaroon po talaga ng negative dito. Magkakaroon po talaga ng negative dyan. So negative 3, x, and then negative 3, minus 1, that is negative 4. And then ato, ano po itong CA? CA serves as our constant. There is that value of A, but we do not know. And it is considered as another variable or, you know. So, if you see another letter from it, and then i-differentiate nyo siya, uh, hindi siya in terms of that variable na i-differentiate nyo, you just have to treat that as a constant, alright? So, treating that as a constant, we have a constant rule, so that is zero. So, therefore, if you simplify that problem, our answer there is 2, 3 over 2x to the power of 1 half plus 1 over x to the 2 third minus 3 over x to the 4th. So, I hope you get the sum rule and the subtraction rule, right? So, now is um, for the product rule, alright? So, we, we are trying to, to multiply two terms, right? So, you say our two terms there is u and v, this one. If we try to differentiate u and v, the first thing that what I always do is I put plus in the center. And then I put v on the other side and I also put u on the other side. And the differentiation of yung, yung iba, yung another side, example yung v so katabi niya is differentiation ng u so pag u differentiation ng v yung katabi niya so yun po yung ginagawa ko as you know pag nag para him para mas madali siyang um, ma remember all right so magbibigay tayo ng example of how are we going to solve that so considering this problem so we have using a parenthesis we have parenthesis of uh, quantity of x squared plus 1 and then we also have the square root of x cubed minus x so kung titingnan nyo para silang hindi sila parehas kasi nga may square root so that is why one of the reason why a lot of students are actually scared of solving problems or they find it very difficult whenever they saw a square root sign but you know what guys you just have to make it like as an exponent so the first thing if it's a product rule the first thing again the first thing is you have to identify the v and the u so if we try to differentiate that equation the u there is x squared plus one all right u is x squared plus one and our v is x cubed minus x to the power of one half that is from this we transform this into that okay so that square root becomes an exponent of one half next to that is <clears throat> next to that is we have to differentiate the 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 u and also the v all right so, so du, we have 2x. That is because x squared plus 1. So, 1 is just a constant. So, that is 0 automatically. And the and x squared, you have to apply the power rule. So, I, I inuulit-ulit ko po yung power rule dito sa mga examples natin. And I hope you already get that. Because x squared, so my variable, yung, uh, my constant yung x as 1. So, 2 times x. Uh, I mean, 2 times 1. So, that is 2. And then, yung exponent natin na 2. Minus natin ng 1, so that is 1. So, kaya po siya naging 2x na lang. And then, our, for our v, again, nakikita nyo, x, you, the exponent there is, um, uh, is, you know, is, an, is a fraction. So, what we have to do is, we just multiplied the, the 1 half to, the constant there is 1. There is a constant of 1 here. So, we have 1 half being multiplied by 1 and then negative 1 half minus 1 that becomes a negative 1 half all right and then as i have said 
you ha just have to copy the value inside a parenthesis, all right? So you just copy there, x cubed minus x. And then you differentiate that and multiply it to this, to this, uh, to the value of this equation, all right? To the value of that expression. So we have, if we differentiate x cubed minus x, we get 3x squared minus 1, all right? But still, it's a power rule. Okay, so that is how we differentiate that. So now that you have your V, you have your U, and you have the differentiation of both, copyhan na lang yung sa formula. You just follow what is being you know, in the formula. So you have your U there and your V, and then you also have your DU and your DX. So, I mean d over dx and dv over dx. And then you just simplify that. And after simplifying that, you get the answer. Right? So, that is ha just how you solve the problem. So, the, the only thing here, the only, di the only different way dito in solving the product rule is you have to identify the u first and the v and then you differentiate them. And then back to the formula. Alright? So, ganun lang po. Alright? So, yung pinaka-basic po talaga natin is dapat alam natin yung constant rule at saka yung power rule. Okay? So, now let's move on to another rule which is the quotient rule. So, in the quotient rule, it's almost the same with the product rule. Yung kainaiba lang is that um, na, may, uh, may since ano na siya, Minus na yung ginamit and then it is being divided by v squared, alright? So, again, the process is almost the same. You, hide the, you have to identify the v and the u and then the differentiation of u and the v and then follow back to the formula again, alright? So, the formula for the quotient rule is u over v is equals to v d over dx minus u dv over dx over the v squared. Again, so... Para mas maintindihan, again, magbibigay po tayo ng, form, ng example. So, say we have x plus 3 over x squared plus 3. So, obviously, yung numerator will be our u. So, that is x plus 3. And then, the denominator will be our v. So, x squared plus 3. And again, kailangan natin yung du d over dx and dv over dx. So, i-differentiate natin yung u. So, we have 1. Because 3 is constant and x is just, you know, there is there is an equation, uh, there is an exponent 1 and there is a variable and there is a constant of 1. So, 1 times 1, you know. So, uh, and then the differentiation of x is 1. And then dv over dx, so if we try to differentiate the v, it's equals to x squared plus 3, so that is 2x. And 3 is a constant, so it's 0 already. So, again, back to the formula. You just have to, you know, put the put the u and the v to their respected um, part. So, say this v over d over dx. So, that is our v there. So, minus our u, which is x plus 3 over uh, dv over dx so which is 2x and then our v is x squared plus 3 to the power of 2 so yun back to the formula lang all right and then so here's uh, you just have to simplify that all right and after simplifying that magtataka po kayo yun saan po yung d over dx one lang po yun all right one lang po yun so hindi ko na po sinulat yung one ay yung d over dx so v lang po yung sinulat ko which is x squared plus 3 on this part okay so differentiating the uh, i mean simplifying the results so simplifying that yan po yung result natin so may dadagdag lang po ako ano sa constant rule po um, magtatanong po kayo paano po naging zero yung constant bakit po siya zero so back po tayo sa ano dun sa power rule na tinatawag natin so if we have y is equals to 3 Kasi, para din siyang may x raised to the power of 0 eh. Alright? 
x to the power of 0 is just 1. So, para siyang may variable x raised to the power of 0. So, if that is raised to the power of 0, then 0 is being multiplied to our constant, which is 3. And that that is the reason why it's just 0. Hindi wala lang po. I just want to share with you this. That it's, it, it is also like derived from that. Na yung constant is always 0. So, kasi para lang siyang may katabi na variable x raised to the power of 0. And then from the, from the power rule na yung, yung exponent mo is multiply mo sa, sa constant ng variable mo, which is, in this example, is 3. So, kung multiply mo yung 0 sa 3, that is 0. So, 0 lang din yung magiging result. Yeah. So, that is one of the reason. Alright? So, I hope you learned something today. I hope na kahit algebraic, ano pa lang tayo, algebraic, express, algebraic functions pa lang tayo, I hope you already learned something. And I hope na patuloy po kayo at panoorin niyo yung mga susunod ko na video in this calculus para ma, ma, matuto kayo. Alright? Matuto tayong lahat. Alright? And then if you have questions guys, if you have some concerns, you can just comment below para ma-update po ako sa mga uh, dapat po na kung may mga problems mo po sa mga examples ko. Alright? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and Share this with your friends. Thank you so much. Bye. Subscribe. 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 Please like and share. Subscribe.